Hi, this is Erika Kassab from Small Robot Studio with a quick tutorial on Nomad Sculpt, a 3D sculpting app for iPad users. Today we are revising the Gizmo tool. This tool will allow us to move, scale and rotate an object. Whenever you create a new primitive, the Gizmo will show automatically. For everything else, you'll find it in the tools bar at the bottom side. Since this is one of the tools that I use the most, I will put it somewhere more accessible. Tap on the interface menu and scroll down to tools order. I'll tap and drag to the top this cross icon. As you can see, my tools bar is now updated. For scaling, drag the outer orange circle to keep the same proportions or drag these squares to modify only one axis. Red is the x-axis, width, green is the y-axis, height, and blue is the z-axis, depth. To move your object freely, tap on the center orange circle or use the arrows to move in a specific axis. For rotating, use the ellipses. This slider on the side lets us choose the increments in which the rotations are made. Tap on the gizmo menu at the top and you can modify the size of the widget. If we look at the toolbar, these tools in the bottom will do the very same thing, just isolating an action. I'm not a big fan of them because they don't show me a reference widget like the gizmo and I find the changes difficult to control. We can choose the orientation of the gizmo with this side button. Mine is oriented locally. When I rotate it, the widget will rotate as well. I can bring the top face to the side and the y-axis will follow. When I tap the orientation icon to deactivate it, the gizmo will align to the world instead. I'm gonna move this object to the side and make a couple transformations. Actually, it was okay in the center. If I undo, I'm gonna lose my transformations, but it's gonna be a pain trying to drag it to the exact center of my scene. So instead, I'm gonna tap on the gizmo menu, and inside the action section, I will tap on move origin. If I undo, and instead tap on reset, it will bring back my object to the center and its original orientation. These actions modify the object, not the vertices. This is why the scale didn't reset. Sculpting operations won't be affected either. I'll go into more detail about this in a second. Let's say I am happy with this new location and rotation. I am gonna press bake. This is gonna create a new point of reference, a new origin, a new orientation. If I take it away and press on reset, it's gonna go back to that place. I can still move it back to the center of my scene by tapping on Move Origin. So what's the difference between vertices and objects? Your object is a mesh, made of points connected by lines that create planes or faces. Vertices are the points. An object in your scene can be made of several meshes. When I scale or do a sculpting operation, I am modifying some vertices. When I move or rotate, I'm affecting the whole object. The distance between these points does not change. Back to Nomad, inside the gizmo menu, we have the method section, which let us choose if we modify vertices, the whole object, or simply let the software decide. To show you clearly the difference, I'll create a mask to pull this area out. I'm gonna set my gizmo to object. When I move it, it's ignoring the mask and moving the whole object. I'm gonna set it to vertex. The gizmo moved to the center of that area. Now I can pull only those vertices out. So far I haven't found a need to change it manually. Auto works just fine. Nevertheless, it's good to understand the other tools. Finally, let's talk about the location of the gizmo. By default, it will be in the center of my object. If my object has several meshes, it will locate in the middle between them. I can edit the location of the gizmo, which is useful if we are maybe posing a limb. Along the left buttons, tap on Edit Pivot and move it wherever you find it useful. Tap the icon again and use its new location. To go back to the original pivot, simply tap on the Auto button. 
Alright, I'll see you soon with a new tool for this Nomad Sculpt series. Happy sculpting! That's it for this tutorial. If you find it useful, make sure that you leave a like so other people can find it. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe as we are bringing out CG and illustration tutorials every week. Become a patron and access tutorial assets, bonus content, a private discord and more by clicking in the link below.